The Galaxy Z Fold 6 is the culmination of Samsung's refinement in hardware over the past six generations of Fold. But for once, this video is not going to be about the hardware of the Samsung Fold series. Samsung's S Pen just became a little bit more fun and paired with the inner display of the Galaxy Z Fold 6, it can create pure magic. Let's go. Today, I want to explore and deep dive into the S Pen features that Samsung have just introduced alongside the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and Galaxy AI. First, let's start with Samsung Notes. The first S Pen function is to do with handwriting. Now, Samsung have introduced a lot of different handwriting functions and cleanup functions over the past few years inside Samsung Notes. This one though is literally magic before your eyes. Samsung created a new menu called the Handwriting Guide. In here is where you can turn on different toggles to enable different things to happen. The one that I tried, the event down in Sydney, was when you start writing on a line, it creates the line from the first letter that you've wrote down. And then it ensures that every letter you've wrote down after that gets brought down onto the same line. It happens in a matter of milliseconds. And you can see it right before your eyes. The line gets drawn, you write, and then anything that's not level gets brought onto line, literally in front of you. It's in that little handwriting guide section. And there's a couple of other things too that I'm definitely gonna test out when I get my Z Fold 6, where you can see from the demonstration, it works really nicely. The second S Pen function inside Samsung Notes, which is probably the main thing we're gonna look at, is sketched image. Sketched image inside Samsung Notes is very, very clever. If you have drawn an image inside Samsung Notes and you would like to turn it into more of a painting or better visually aesthetic, especially if you can't draw like me, you'll be able to use in Galaxy AI and the sketched image function from the toolbar, circle the image and then turn it into something that you wish. It gives you a list of styles that you would like to replicate and then you choose the one that you like and hit generate. You can see that it will generate a multitude of different styles or different pictures for you to choose from and then you select the one to input into your notes file. This is such a great way of turning what you've done inside Samsung Notes into a picture that you can then save or share. And because it's sort of taking advantage, you've got the different S Pen functions inside Samsung Notes already, this just further adds to the arsenal of things you can do inside of here. And I like that Samsung have put it everywhere. Because as you'll see later on, this isn't the only place that sketched image exists. Next, Samsung have invigorated the generative edit function. Not only have they now added a new button inside the photos toolbar, when you're looking at a photo, you no longer have to go into edit, into generative edit to bring up the generative edit menu. You can just do it straight from the toolbar underneath the photo that you're looking at, drastically reducing the amount of time it will take to bring up and sort of edit something using AI. We obviously know about Portrait Studio, which I showed off in my Flip 6 hands-on video, which you can go check out. But Sketch to Image makes so much more sense with the fold because you can literally take the photo that you've got and add something to it. If you think it needs a cup placed on a table, you could do it. If you've got a high ego and you want to draw a crown on top of yourself, you can do it. In fact, that's... That's the one we all pretty much did at the event. Samuel brought his wife and she absolutely loved drawing crowns on. She was a much better drawer than I was too. But the good thing is you don't need to be a good drawer here. It literally will recreate the crown based on however badly your drawing was. It was weird though that in the limited time we had, that was the only thing we could think of was crowns. You can see the multiple times that I did it. I did it a few times. The statue of schizophrenia. It's actually done such a great job at drawing a crown on top of your head and making it look real. This is the thing that's different from sketched image inside Samsung Notes is that this will generate a real version of what you have drawn. Whether that be a crown or we were demonstrated a cup on a table where it will actually recreate a real coffee mug if you've drawn that. And depending on the information you've added to the drawing, you can get different results. Like maybe the coffee might actually be full in the cup or it might have a shadow created. And then what I also love too, is that it generates four different results. So you're not limited to the result that it gives you first time, you can actually choose. That was a limitation I found with Galaxy AI to begin with, is that when you remove something from the background, it could randomly just replace it with this random object. And whilst that might be fun to see maybe once, you don't want that all the time. So giving you options to choose from means that you don't need to do it multiple times 
it's actually giving you options. The third function that we saw was sketch to image in its own isolated app. Samsung have put the, a new menu inside the phone called Galaxy AI. They've finally done away with it inside advanced features, which have made no sense being in there. It should have its own place inside the phone. The thing with this drawing assist sketch to image is that it actually can be accessed by the edge panel where you can just literally press on it and it opens it up. It overlays over whatever app you're in and you can do things like adjust the transparency of the background so you can see through it. If you want to see the app, maybe you want to trace and that could be something you want to do, uh, which I think is a really neat idea. That seems like I've done that. When you select it for the first time, it will sort of guide you on how to use it. And then once you've gone through that guide, you literally just start drawing. It's different from Samsung Notes. With Samsung Notes, you have to have drawn something first before you select Sketch to Image. Here, you draw something after you select Sketch to Image. So it gives you the canvas and you start to draw. Once you've drawn and selected your option of style that you'd like, you hit Generate and it gives you four different options again. I was very impressed with the results that I was able to get. I tried it a bunch of times. I drew things like stick figures, which it took my terrible stick figure and added some flair and excitement to it, which was nice. I drew a house, which was probably the favorite thing that I was able to draw because it took the house that I drew and I selected sketch, literally recreated a pencil drawing sketch of the house that I wanted, like better than I could have ever done even with pencil and paper, it was that good. I also tried volcanoes a number of times and depending on the style of volcano, the style of drawing that I wanted, it gave me various different outputs. And again, all with multiple sort of versions of the output. The volcano was the demo that we got, but I was so excited to try different things when I get my own Fold 6. Let me know what you would draw and turn into a sketch. Samuel, who came to the event alongside me, he had this brilliant idea as a parent of two, both me and him, that if a kid wanted you to draw something for them, rather than drawing it well, you literally just put a prompt into this sketched image and it will come out. His example was a koala bear. Take a look. And you have a stand oh. for your video calls. Whoa! <laughs> come on. I drew that. Yeah? And she'd be like, why is the koala bear a different color? I'd be like, well, this is, a koala, this is what koalas look like in Queensland. She won't know. She has no idea. She doesn't know how to use the internet, so she'll believe me. That's it. This is it. This is absolutely freaking brilliant. I really enjoyed this process of using Sketch to Image. Samsung will put every setting you could think of up in the top right corner where you can regenerate it again, you can start over again, you can save it, you can share it. It's all up there in that top corner, including its settings and everything like that as well. Seems like I've really nailed the experience of using this. What I've actually since learned about that we didn't get to see or I haven't been able to test is this is actually also inside Smart Select. And the version inside Smart Select is the same one that Samsung have put inside Generative Edit inside the gallery. Meaning that if you clip something using Smart Select and the S Pen, you can choose sketch the image on the clipped part of the screenshot that you've done, draw over the top of it, and actually generate pictures on top of the image you've made. Here are some examples that someone else had sent me where you can draw things like sunglasses and cigars, and then you can actually have them come to life. It's really cool, and I imagine it's going to be a lot of fun, especially for making memes. Can't wait to try it myself. All of these AI functions with the S Pen, the generated image now has a new watermark. Before, it was just the three stars, and I dare say that that maybe wasn't enough. People were either hiding it or removing it too easily using... Object Eraser, the irony of that is just amazing. Putting in the actual AI generated image in text makes that a lot harder to do. I will try it. Absolutely. That's the first thing I'll do when I get my Fold 6 and I use Sketched Image. Maybe look, the first thing I'll do is set it up. That'll be the first thing I'll do for Sketched Image. Now, this obviously will make its way back to other devices. And I'm excited to see it on the S24 Ultra. I'm excited to see it on the Tab S9 Ultra or maybe the, the upcoming Tab S10 Ultra, if that is so happening. Either way, they're here now on the Fold 6, and I'm going to have a lot of fun with it. Make sure you hit subscribe, because the, all the content that's going to be upcoming, I've got all the devices that I can get coming in. Let me know which one you're looking forward to be covering the most in the comments below. I'll see you the next one. Yoo! New camera.